you doing? Having fun at home? Get ready for this because you're about to have a whole lot more. That's right, kids. It's time for part two of Sam Sam Bubble Man. That's me. Bubble Workshop. And I'm going to show you even more fun and incredible, amazing things you can do at home with bubbles. Check this out. Sam Sam Bubble Man. And I've been making bubbles for about 30 years. Can you believe it? I'm still making bubbles. And bubbles have taken me all over the world now. I've broken 12 Guinness World Records for my bubbles. And I've performed for Lady Gaga, Prince Charles, JK Rowling, all kinds of <laughs> famous people. It's kind of incredible, really. Sometimes I have to kind of stop and think. How did I get this far with bubbles? But anyway, that's another story. Call me bubbles, darling. I'm going to show you today my all-time number one favourite way of making bubbles. And one of the things that's so good about this way of making bubbles is that you don't need any toys. Not at all. You just need the one thing that you always need when you're going to make bubbles, and that is some decent quality bubble solution. Now you can make some at home and there's a recipe online on our website samsambubbleman.com in the bubbleology section. If you have already got it or if you want to try and order some of it, this is what we use. This is called Superbop and this is our world record holding bubble solution. You can buy that online. But if you don't, you can just go and use the home recipe. This will work a lot better. So I've already mixed some up here. And I've added, actually, a little bit of glycerin to this, which you can get in the chemist or in the supermarket. I've got quite a big bottle because I use it quite often. It helps the bubbles to last a bit longer. With Super Bob, what I do is I use one part Super Bob. So let's say 200 millilitres of Super Bob. That's concentrated. So we can add some water as well. 
and I had the same amount of glycerin, 200 milliliters of glycerin, and then I had 600 milliliters of water, just regular tap water. You don't have to use the glycerin, it helps your bubbles to last a bit longer. So I've combined all those three already, and we're gonna do some bubbles, I'm gonna show you some things. I've also got a bowl here to put the bubble solution in. I've got a towel. I've got an old tea towel here as well, which is just to soak up the drips. This towel is for drying my hands when I'm finished. I've also got here some coconut oil. Again, you can get this very cheaply in your supermarket. And I put that on before I do this because I'm gonna put my hands in the bubble solution and soak can dry your skin out. So unfortunately, if you've got a dry skin problem, this probably isn't the one for you. In which case, go back and have another look at part one or wait for part three to come out where uh, it doesn't matter if you've got a skin problem, you can get involved anyway. If you've got dry skin, maybe don't do this. Even if you do, good idea to put some uh, coconut oil on your hands or cocoa butter as well. Raw cocoa butter works as well. It's good as a barrier cream. And when we're done, at the end, I'm also going to use some moisturiser to, once I've washed all the solution off my hands, I'm going to put some moisturiser on as well, just to look after your skin. So, I've got my bubble solution, I've got a little bowl to put it in, I've mixed it up already, I don't really need anything else. And the great thing about making bubbles with your hands, you don't need any toys, and that's what I keep trying to tell people, it's not the toy that makes the bubbles. It's the bubble solution. You can have the best bubble toy in the world, but if it, you haven't got good bubble solution, you're not going to make good bubbles. Whereas, if you've got some good bubble solutions but no toy, there's all kinds of fun things you can do. And there's another reason why this is such a fun way to make bubbles. Can you guess what it is? What am I doing? What am I doing right now? Where's the bubble? That's right! I can actually hold the bubble! And it feels great! I can spin it upside down, I can turn it around, and I can actually feel it on my skin, even though it's so thin. That bubble there is about a hundred times thinner, the wall of the bubble, it's about 100 times thinner than a piece of paper. Boing, boing, boing. Oh, hello, bubble. Boop. So I could actually touch the bubble like this, and it's a really important point because most people think that when you touch a bubble, it pops. And yet, here I am, touching a bubble. So why is that? I think the thing is, I've been thinking about this, that most of the time we tend to think that if you want to pop a bubble it's a bit like a balloon and that you need to have something sharp or spiky but you poke into the balloon and it pops and it should be the same with bubbles which it might well do but not necessarily so because it's not whether it's sharp or blunt it's whether it's wet or dry something that's dry will pop the bubble very quickly something that's wet the bubble can last on. So if I put both hands in and I blow a bubble and it lands on my hand, it doesn't pop. And that's a glorious thing. There's all kinds of fun things you can do with this technique. So let's start at the beginning. Hopefully you've made your bubble solution in advance. If not, pause this, go and make it, come back or watch it come back when you've made your bubble solution. I've got in here just under a litre and I'm going to put my hand in to the bubble mix really nice and slowly and I'm going to make sure that the front of my hand is back and the back of my hand up to the wrist and maybe just a little bit over the wrist. Okay, we don't want it to pop on anything that's dry. Don't miss your hand around like this in the bucket. Well, don't do it in my bucket anyway. Don't do it in your bucket either, because foam, here's a little bubble secret for you, foam, right, is the enemy of bubbles. They're kind of fun, depending on what you're doing, but if you want to make single bubbles, 
the foam is kind of dry and it kind of pops the bubbles, it changes the surface tension and they pop much more quickly. So you want to get a nice clean dip. Think of it like a swimming pool. You want to dive into that clear, fresh water. So nice and slowly, you put your hand into the bubble solution, back and front. And when you take it out, I want you to make a fist like that. Okay, got that? Great. Now, once you're there, I'm going to slide my thumb and forefinger open so I've got the shape of a rabbit. Can you see the bunny? Good. Very important that you don't take your thumb and your forefinger apart because that's holding the film. If I take it apart, it's going to pop. So I did take it apart, even though I told you not to. So I'm going to dip it again and I'm going to make the fist and I'm going to make the bunny. Right, now, if you've got the bunny, you should see a film, a soap film, across the hole in between my thumb and forefinger. If I blow into that hole, just like you would do with a normal little pot and wand, I've got a bubble. Isn't that great? Where did it go? Who knows why that disappeared? Yeah? Does anybody know? Hands up, hands up. Well done, that's correct. I didn't close the hole off. And I didn't flick the bubble off. So all the air shot back out of the bunny. Okay? So this time, when we do it, I'm going to finish making the bubble and I'm going to slide my thumb and forefinger back until my hand is nice and flat. So I'm going to show you again with the bubble this time. Here we go. Start with the fist. Go to the bunny. Blow in the bunny's head and flatten your hand. Hold it from the top. Get much more control of your bubble if you hold it from the top. Might be a good idea to put some newspaper down on the ground if your bubble's dripping onto the floor because you don't want to create any slip hazard, okay? Or an old rug if you've got it. Now, I've got that bubble there. Oh, it's so lovely. Will you be friends with me? They always do kind of take on a identity, don't you think? Is that just me? I am a bit bubble crazy. Why wouldn't you be? People keep asking, well, how come you got into bubbles? And it's like, how come you didn't? It's time, time is now. Mm. Bubbles are kind of funny as well because I kind of think that life at the moment is a bit like being in a bubble. Hey. When this is all over and your friends can come round, Maybe that's your friend in their bubble at the moment. And when this is all over and they come out, you might find that you start to play with each other like that. Boing, 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 boing. If you're really good friends, then you might have a bit of a sleepover. We can't do that right now, I know. But it's kind of interesting, isn't it? Bubbles are a bit like life. They come and they go. Just like that. Or do you? Because if you start with a bubble like that, you might see some cool colours on the surface of the bubble. The different colours you get, some of them, you can tell that the bubble's getting really thin. Like when the bubble goes kind of clear colour and it loses all those kind of purples and greens and blues and oranges, that's when the bubble gets really thin. And I know that our bubble's going to pop at that point, so I'm not going to do any tricks with it. This one's still nice and healthy. I can get rid of it if I squinch my hand up as I push it up. And now it's free floating. And it's full. Okay, so one more time. Put my hand into the bubble mix. I make a fist. I make the bunny. I blow in the bunny's head. And I flip. 
flat in my hand and I hold it from the top. And just play around with it at this point, okay? Once you've got that down, we're gonna try something else. This time we're gonna get both hands wet, okay? The other hand goes in. And this time we're gonna use the left hand or your right hand if you're left-handed as the platform for the bubble. So same thing, I'm gonna make a bunny and this time I'm going to blow the bubble onto my hand. Now as it gets bigger you're going to have to keep your hand moving upwards otherwise it might touch some part of your hand that's dry. Like this. Great. You got that? Ooh. Now I've got one bubble and two hands. And if I stretch it out it kind of changes shape. You see that? It goes like a tube. If I keep stretching it out, I've got two bubbles. Boing, 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 boing. Now, <laughs> that's so much fun, I don't know why I enjoy that so much. What does it remind you of? Tell me, I want to hear your answers. What does it remind you of? Jelly? No, you can't say that. We're on live on TV. What do you mean it's not TV? It's kind of like TV. Anyway, I can play around with these bubbles like this. I can also, if I'm clever, turn it into one bubble, just like that, or even no bubbles, because bubbles are pretty magic. <laughs> I pushed it a bit with that one. Okay, I know, I know. Let's get back to having two bubbles, yeah? One bubble, stretch them apart. Two bubbles! I can make those back into one bubble by banging my hands together like this. Pop! Do you see that? I've got one bubble again. I can bring them back to two bubbles. Oh, here's a little baby bubble. And once again, I bang them together. I've got two, well, one bubble. Now, if I pull them apart like this, like this, instead of like this, like this, like an accordion, and I pull them apart quite quickly, see what happens. What have I got now? Did you see that? What have I got now? I had three bubbles just for a minute, did you see that? There we go. Oh, boing, boing. Come back, come back, come back, come back. I can't see you if you go up there. <laughs> You can't blow an ugly bubble! And we're back to one! Now that bubble's getting a bit weak now, so I'm just gonna let it pop. And we'll move on to the next thing, the bubble solution. We're gonna use this to make the bubbles now, okay? I'm gonna dip my left hand, or your right hand if you're left-handed, into the bubble mix. And we're gonna blow a bubble using a straw onto the bottom of my hand. Cool, eh? Now I'm going to take my straw, make sure it's wet, and I'm going to attach it to the bottom of the bubble. Okay? And I'm now going to blow another bowl underneath that. That's right, it's like we did in part one, but a bit bigger. And now I'm actually holding it. You might have seen, if you saw, if you didn't see part one, go back and have a look at it after this video. see we made and we're making a bubble caterpillar. See how I'm doing that? Basically, ah. <laughs> it's not supposed to happen. Okay, so I'm attaching bubbles to each other and I'm making a chain of bubbles or a bubble caterpillar. Now there's a way you can do this with a straw. You can also do it without the straw. And I'm gonna show you this next. 
So to do it without the straw, blow, start with one bubble on your hand, close it off, flat hand. Yeah, now we're gonna start the same thing again, making the bunny, but I'm gonna do it whilst my hand is attached, both my hands are attached to the bubble still, all right? You don't wanna come over here and do it from here. And then try and get those two bubbles to connect because they might, or they might not, but they did actually in this case. But they might, you might find that they join quite easily, or you might find that they do that, or you might find that they just kind of skirt around on the surface. Those two are actually really in love with each other and they really want to join together. Uh, okay, that one's a bit big, but never mind. So here, I'm going to show you again. Now I'm going to hold it from the top. I'm going to attach my hand to the bottom of the bubble, make the bunny, and blow into the bunny's head. Now I've got two bubbles. Like with the beginning of the caterpillar, they're much bigger. And I might be able to do it again. Let's see if we can do it again. That was a smaller bunny head. Now I've got three. See that? You can even swap them over. Come over this side, see if you can make a bubble on this side. And then I've got four bubbles. I've got a chain of four bubbles. One, two, three, four. See how many you can get. You might get five. You never know. Keep them smaller. You want to get more, keep them smaller. All right? Those are quite big. Those are like uh, almost football sized. Fine. So you're having fun? Good. Bubbles are fun. They're great, aren't they? I've been making bubbles 30 years and I still love making bubbles. To recap, we have done basic hand bubbling. Making one bubble with the bunny, yeah? We've done splitting that bubble into two bubbles. We've done splitting that bubble into three bubbles. We've done bringing them back together. We've done bubble balancing with them. We've done a chain of bubbles. Gosh, we covered quite a lot, haven't we? Um, I've probably got time for one more thing to show you. Uh, so, if again you get two hands wet, now you can even do this with somebody else and you can have four hands on a bubble or six hands on a bubble and it all make the same bubble. See how big you can get it, okay? Now, I, I'm gonna just do it on my own because I'm, I haven't got anyone, my kids are away today. They're with their mum. Now check this out, I've got this really nice big bubble here. Oh, 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 I want to keep control of it, so I'm going to hold it from the top. Now, I'm going to try and do something cool with this bubble. I want you to watch what happens inside the bubble, all right? Can you see that? Can you see what I've got there? I've got three bubbles inside it. Now you can do this, it's not that hard. All you do is you blow on the bottom half of the bubble and you make a, you can make a p sound or you can go a quite hard breath. If it's just pushing the bubble away from you, you're not blowing hard enough. And if the bubble pops, then you're blown too hard. So figure it out and see how hard you have to blow. I'm gonna show you again. Let's do it dry this time. Let's just pretend I've got a bubble here. Watch my lips. Yeah? Try a purse at first. Purse sound. Don't go too big. Maybe about that size, like a uh, gala melon or something. Yeah, do you see that? It's great, isn't it? You don't have to make that sound. Try other sounds too. You know, speech therapists use bubbles. They help people to learn how to speak using bubbles. 
I'm gonna go a bit bigger. This time I'm gonna make a different noise, I'm gonna go. Yeah, try it. Oh, didn't work for me, but it might work for you. So try it at home, all right? That's all I've got time for now, but I hope you've enjoyed this second bubble workshop and that you're having a lovely time at home and that you are making bubbles because bubbles are great. And uh, last thing, of course, as I said at the beginning, uh, don't forget to wash all the soap off your hands. Make sure it's all really thoroughly washed off. It's actually kind of funny this, that I'm doing this now because of course, washing your hands is what we're all supposed to be doing as much as possible. And now my hands are super clean. It's actually some anti-fungal stuff in the in Super Bob, which will which will kill any germs anyway. So do get hold of some Super Bob. It's brilliant stuff. It's gonna have you can have so much more fun with. You've got a good quality bubble solution. If not, don't worry. There is a recipe on our website, as I mentioned at the beginning. Head over to the Bubbleology section, and there's a section with the recipe there that you can make at home. Once you've finished. Do make sure all the soap is off your hands. Wash your hands extra th extra long until they're not slippery at all. And then get some cream, some moisturizer, ask your mum. You could use coconut oil as well, that's a good moisturizer. This stuff here, I get it from Boots. It's called Aqueous Cream. You might read it back to front, but it's called Aqueous Cream. And it's really good because it's got no smelly stuff or perfume or anything in it. It's just good quality moisturizer. So, I look forward to seeing you for part three coming soon. Are you gonna come and find me online? Good, check me out, samsambubbleman.com or come and have a look at me on Facebook. I'm on TikTok now as well, Instagram, Twitter, any of those. I mostly use Facebook to be honest, but I do check in on the others as well. So come and find me there, be my friend. Come and find the next uh, bubble tutorial. Come and see the last bubble tutorial. If you want to see videos, head over to the blog section on my website. There's loads of cool videos, clips from my shows. And until next time, I have to wish you very happy bubbling. Bye.